And we're back to our second topic of the day. But before we go there, we want to introduce our studio audience. Yeah. We had this before, but these are people that's interested in the show. We want to thank them for being here, and uh, you'll probably see some of them up here on the round table sooner or later. And we also want to thank our partnership, Community Health, Community Health Interventions, for our lovely earphones. So you can hear what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's get to the nooks and cranks. Mm. And this is going to be a really, really neat topic, man. I hope we take this one very serious. I know I won't, but let's go. <laughs> but how do you discipline your kids? And what do you consider child abuse? I said beat them half of the <laughs> <laughs> we, done had, we done had some viral videos in 2016 that went down. I mean, they were borderline level to me. Child abuse, some I looked at child abuse, some I looked at his discipline. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of them. We even did a couple live videos on uh, Nia Long. Nia Long. Nia, 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 Nia Long. Here we go. Nia Green. <laughs> Nia Green. Um, so there were, a couple, there were a couple situations where, you know, there was borderline child abuse and discipline. So uh, what are y'all thoughts? I don't consider mine child abuse, but I do consider beating they behind. Mm -hmm. Yes, if they do something wrong, I am going to get my belt, my flip flop, my. Shoe, whatever. It's I get my cord. hand out. No, no switch cord. No switch. <laughs> but I am going to take that behind up now. I can understand if I was putting their head through the wall or through the window. That's child abuse. But if I'm tearing their behind that, the thing they sit on up. Yeah, that's a whooping. Now, what if you did it to us? Uh, like, if you were beating them for 10 minutes? Like, 10 minutes. Then, yes. I'm out of breath in 10 minutes. I didn't even have to ask. If you uh, if you are giving your kids a Ike Turner ass whooping, yeah. that's child abuse. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's child abuse. Yeah. Let's, let's keep it real. We all grew up in the old school where you got an ass whoop. It wasn't, it wasn't this ACLs or Child Protective Services where you can feel like you can pick up the phone and call these people and they'll come and save you from an ass whooping. Yeah. You was too scared because you know that that ass whooping was coming and nobody was going to save you. True. And, yeah. gonna go and the only person you prayed for while you was getting that ass whooping was God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, and it made me better. It yeah. made me respect my parents, my elders, and when I went out, I always thought about it like that eye of God. You know, if you always got the eye of God knowing that he's always watching, you can't hide from him. You do things better. Exactly. You know, and that's what that ass whooping was. It was like the eye of God. You know, you messed up, you had to come home and deal with that. You know what I'm exactly. saying? And exactly. that's what we're not giving to our kids nowadays because social media, I'm sorry to say, yeah. you know, it messes it up because all you do is take their kids to have that phone and you whoop whooping that your kid ass and they record it, they post it live or somebody records you doing discipline your kids. It's, Child abuse. Yeah. You know what I'm and, I, and I think that the whole social media aspect is a really, really serious part of this because mm -hmm. I think people sometimes don't want to mind their business. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, um, you're not feeding that child, you're not clothing that child, you're not housing that child, you're not loving and caring for that child. Yeah, you got an opinion on how I'm raising my, my child. child. Like, yeah. like mind exactly. your business while right. I get you a Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but one of the things you said that was so, so genuine and I'm going to shut it down, was, you know, when I grew up, it was one phone in the house. You didn't touch the phone unless me, my mama, my, my daddy told you to touch the phone. But first of all, but I, 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 I fixed my lips to say I'm calling diapers or child protective services or the police. My mama, my daddy was quick to say, why are you doing that? Pack, not even pack your stuff. Take what we bought you off. Mm -hmm. Wait on the wait on the porch and go on with him and don't come back because you can't come back. Cause I, I, I couldn't even imagine calling the police or uh, mm -hmm. child protective yeah. services on my mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, me personally, man, I, I believe that also it, it, it plays because um, I was raised in a, in a family home where I had my mom and my dad. If my dad didn't whoop me, my mom would whoop me. My mom would whoop me, my dad would whoop me. 
and yeah, he might use a, a, a stencil cord, she might use the belt, but I feel like um, nowadays, um, with the generation that's coming up now that have babies, that have kids now, um, they, they really don't understand that beating concept that we had, or they don't give it because they might not have been around it. They might not have been beat as a child, so they don't know how to give out a beating to their child, and they, they just raising their child as they know. You know, I had both of my parents, like I said, I'm fortunate to have that because it made a difference in my life. I'm not going to say I was the same. I did stuff with my mom and dad was like this. I was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, I, but do you think kids are soft? Do no, kids are soft? No, no I don't think they're soft. I think the parents are. The and parents I think, are. The, I think the parents are lazy. I think the only time they want to say they want to discipline their kid is when they get embarrassed outside. But this kid is not just doing it outside. This yeah. kid is doing it in the home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're allowing it. So now when it's outside, it's like... What? I'm gonna whoop your butt. Now you gotta show up because now you're embarrassed because you haven't been disciplining them at home. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like you get now, you get these kids nowadays that you just hand them a help, a, a, a phone at three years old. They don't want to work it. Not working. Because that's how the kid, that's how the parents mm -hmm. quiet up. It's like the lazy parent that gave the kid a pacifier instead of taking the time out and playing with that kid and entertaining it. They just shut the pacifier in the mouth and that was it and go on their business or feed them, yeah. give them another body. And even shut them up. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. it's the parents, the lazy parents. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is. I also think like there's an age, like it depends on what type of discipline that you do to your child, depending on the age. Like, I'm not gonna take a belt and whoop a two year old. That's just me. Mm -hmm. Like my daughter just now, like she's four. She just now started getting um whooping. Um, but my son, like it depends. Like I said, it depends on the child because my son, I only hit him with a belt like twice before. And the only thing I gotta do is look and be like, Joe. Mm -hmm. He he Okay, mommy. I'm sorry, mommy. My daughter on the other hand, I can I can use the belt all day, she don't give a crap. Well you you have teenagers? Well, uh no we have, you know, we uh, we have uh, a two year old, um, a six year old and a seven year old. Mm. And uh, my wife and I we're uh, we're foster parents and being foster parents you must uh, give the child a time out and talk to the child and, and make sure you use positive reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mary. But, hey, <laughs> but, but, on the, but on the flip side of it, we kind of like we kind of got into it a little bit earlier about talking about it. Um, the distinction between abuse and actual discipline is that you're showing that child the majority of the time love and showing them, you know, and showing them how, uh, respect and love and, and showing them the right way how to do things mm -hmm. when they act up. Uh, like like you said, when we were growing up, yeah. we we got towed out. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. but I think being I think how moving forward to try to teach our children um, new ways of discipline. That's what me and wife learned from actually being foster parents. New ways of discipline from yes. what we were raised. And I don't think it. But as far as spanking, I do agree with spanking. Uh, but as long as it's done with love and metered, mm -hmm. as far as not giving a whole lot, but giving more love than more spankings, yes. I think I think as long as there's a balance in there. Yeah. I think now, 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 they had a, a situation on social media one time where a father yeah. actually punched his yeah. son yeah. in the face. Yeah. You know, and watching. they consider, they said, you know, yeah. this child abuse or whatever like that. I honestly don't know. I mean, he, to me, I'm like, he's like 14, 15. Yeah. Yeah. Teenage yeah. I would, yeah. I would personally, if my son took yeah. me to that level, I but would definitely give him a right hook to his face. Right. You know, question, because what, what because, about age? Because, because like she said, it's age level. It's yeah. Yeah. Age. Can I say something about discipline too? But race, probably race discipline make kids different. Let's, let's, yeah. let's get that right. Let's get that point. Now, the society base of how to raise kids is not. I say the average American black, Hispanic, it is white. I mean, they gender, they say this is how you should raise your kids, they make these laws. Timmy, stop! Right. Don't do that! But Timmy will be the one. Shut now, up, okay, no. No. We, we may beat our kids and Shut we may discipline them real hard. And they're, I mean, but granted, they might go out there and kill somebody. They might kill one, two people. But then, but Timmy, on the other hand, is blowing up <laughs> World Trade Centers, <laughs> not me, and he's killing. Look at the, the, the guy, the white guy, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's not a white or black thing, but just a, just a look, look at it. He don't even want to no. sit here and say he has a, a mental issue. He actually wants to sit here and say that he's normal. He's okay. He's saying what he can't hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that yeah. goes with parenting. Yeah. yeah. That goes with parenting. That started from when he probably parenting. never did so, a spanking in his life. Exactly. Is that I punishment and time out? The punishment that he's even getting is not even bothering him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they probably didn't get <laughs> the death penalty. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not scared. Yeah. Yeah. Which means he's not scared of punishment. Yeah. 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 
Well, see, and I, I just believe that, like, for especially for boys, I, I thought, I think that discipline that my dad and my mom, my grandpa, because it wasn't just my, my, my mom, my dad, my grandmother, it was everybody in the hood that, because I was bad. I was, yeah. like, I was bad. I did a lot of, I was bad. And so, by the time I got home, literally, somebody will call my grandmother, oh, okay. somebody, Mm-hmm. Old, old Nathan, mm-hmm. this apple down the street. Apple. <laughs> I see you, Lord. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got. <laughs> you know, so I got it. I got literally it. coming down the street like, oh, you in trouble. Like, I could be around the corner. Yeah. So we, it was a village. It, 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 it was a right. village. You know, when, when we talk about culture, then we talk about, you know, I think that made me, it made me understand discipline. It also made me understand how to fight. How to how to take a, 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 a whooping without having to go get a gun? That's you know, it actually taught right. me how to understand that there were there were levels to this yeah. stuff. Yeah, that if I did this, that the consequences are going to be. Yeah, when I got home, my dad punched us in the chest. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what he did. He just caught you. He like walking in, you know, bam! Like, man, did you just hit me? Like, say it again. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so. And I you know, that, cause yeah. as men, when we start getting older, it's to that age where a uh, spanking on our ass doesn't that's hurt. That's exactly. Like, you buy the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to yeah. challenge yeah. the yeah. Exactly. Your father, that, 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 that authority, uh, it, it just always felt like, damn, he, this is going to hurt my ass. Yeah. Like, like moms, like, I don't think, y'all might think of y'all be hurting y'all little yeah. teenage sons. <laughs> y'all ain't even there, like, is yeah. that on yeah. your die? Yeah, that's yeah. how y'all feel. I you feel like this. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. This shit just hit me. Yeah, yeah. that's what my son said. I See? start crying uh-huh. because so you can stop. Mm-hmm. But then once you go away, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. It's a wrap. Like, like, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> man, that's a good one. Very good. Very good. I mean, discipline and abuse, man. It's been a lot of things I've been doing.